Hey guys, welcome in a new review of the Forbidden Forest Lego set Umbridge Encounter. This is kind of the third uh, Forbidden Forest set in the Lego Harry Potter scene and uh, yeah, let's get into it. It's a really awesome set. The first minifigure is Harry Potter and he has some really nice outfit. At the back, it doesn't have too much prints, but he has some little ones which look really nice. I like the red underneath here. And as a face print, he has some standard Harry Potter face print. And as a second face, you get an angry face print. So that's really nice. You also are getting Hermoline and she has some really nice clothes and a nice face print as well. Her hair is really nice and at the back she has some more printing on her clothes and another face print that looks very serious, very angry. This is Dolores Umbridge. And she is taking over Hogwarts for one year, I believe. And then she got kind of bullied away. And then they take her to the forest where she is taken by the centaurs i believe i like her prints on her body a lot especially this little golden kitten i like that a lot because she's all over kittens and everything at the back we don't have too much prints but we have some and it's really cool that they did but her face print is looking old like a grandma face print and I can believe that Lego is using this face this hat for more sets where they need old people and this is kinda where she's screaming or yelling so you can believe that she's making a lot of noise here so that's nice and I also like that this is like where you can see her legs and her feet are also pink and it's really nice. This is one of the true centaurs you're getting in this set. He has a bow and arrow and some really nice body printing. His face looks Nah, we never had that before and it, I'm not sure if it looks like a centaur. I didn't see that too much. It's just the one scene where you see it, just a little scene. As a second print, you're getting him where he's angry and also a little back printing as well, which is really nice. So for the legs, it's I think a new piece that they used for Lego. And you can, you have two studs, you can snap one of the arrow holders on here. And this is just connected by two of those normal body holders. Where you can put one of the centaur or other minifigure bodies on and I can imagine that a lot of people are putting some random bodies on here just to make really weird figures and it's really nice and you're getting a second one that looks exactly the same as a lot of figures in some sets this summer wave you get 
duplicates, but then just really duplicates. Those are exactly the same and don't have anything that's making them original than the figure itself. So it's it's just the duplicate you're getting, but it's nice. So two of those is really nice for this price point of 30 euros. Next minifigure, I mean minifigure, it's actually a really big figure, is Grump. And he, he is not listed in the minifigures, but he is a character of the movie and of the scene. He is the brother of, uh, the little brother of Hagrid, but he he's actually much bigger than Hagrid. And yeah, he, he does like a lot of things that a normal minifigure can do too. So let's take a little closer look at him. This is connected by Technic pins. Both of his legs are and his arms are connected by these ball joints. You cannot move this a lot. So you can only do it like this or you can move it so it can slide down or other this part will be in the way. So you have to turn it like that. Legs are really nice. These are two stickers. This align is as well stickers and his face is a print which is super cool. And yeah. His back looks even cool too. Looks really well. Of course you have to bag off all the plates, but looks really smooth. Back of his head looks insanely detailed with all these little black pieces and even his ears. And the rest of his hair is just very cool. I like how they did this. I really like that. And as well as his feet. So, all brick build, and I think that's really cool. His head is connected by a Technic pin. And this pin, pin goes into his head. It <laughs> sounds very sad that <laughs> you have pinned his head down, but other it will roll off. So it's really cool. His ears, his face print is rocking everything, and his hands are really cool. You can snip them off with a Technic pin, and it can hold. Something like bags or mini pig. So this fits in so you can hold him like this. Or he can try to do some magic with a magic wand. And snapping it in like this. You can hold it. And it can hold any pins. That's really nice, really nice figure. You are also getting this tree. And this is not just decoration, but this is actually a scene of the movie where they have like a hole in the tree, but this is not actually a hole. You can open it up. There is the bike steer with the bell on it. And that's how he plays or communicate. And also you have a bone, a piece of chicken and a lamp that you can all fit inside of this tree. 
so it's a kind of a hidden secret place of grump and i like the mushrooms growing out of the tree and also this piece which is a new i believe these are just some of these pieces and i like this that doesn't make me think a little bit of the first set of the forbidden forest we got with the big spider in it that's really nice really nice to get a lot of leaf pieces and some nice brown pieces as well really nice you get two instruction manuals one is for three and for two centaurs and harry and the other one is for the mega fig or big fig and hamelin and umbridge you're getting nice pizza list at the back and two bags built up and you even get some advertisement for the other sets which is really cool box is very nice i think it's yeah it's kind of standard 30 euro box art with the minifigs are listed up and names also on top you have some names and i would have liked to see his face like underneath here with his name because his name is grump and i don't like that they didn't include the name although i don't think you would buy this set if you don't know the movie so you would probably know the name if you buy the set so anyway it's nice to see what you can do with it not a lot going on on like functions but you can open this tree up and close it and you have this big mega fix so that's really nice i think the playability is reachable because you can just have an arrow and bow that you can play with shooting them or something and you can put many figures in the tree and everything and it's i think that like it's a kid's mind is endless so playability enough this was my review of the forbidden forest umbrage encounter and for 30 euros you're getting a lot going on in the set you're getting three minifigs one mega fig and two centaurs and i really like that for that price you're getting a, a nice tree build and let me know in the comments what you think about this set and if you would like to see another forbidden forest set because this is the third set from the forbidden forest and what would it be that you like from the movies to be included in the Forbidden Forest series because it's like a small series and then underneath uh, the Harry Potter team because we have three sets of this that you can collect also as the castle parts this is something else and it's really nice and I think that there will be another set coming out next year so I thank you for watching and I will see you all the next time. Bye.